morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's September, which means the fall decor has come out. Suddenly, the world I used to know, I see it differently. The mountain mornings are getting cooler and cooler, so it always feels right. I know a lot of people like to wait, but I'm not one of those people. September 1st, the fall boxes come out. All right, so today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make a really yummy, healthy pumpkin French toast. We're also gonna go on a picnic and I'll show you guys what we bring for that. I'm gonna show you how I use my leftovers for dinner, especially for those busy days. So we have a snowstorm coming in in a couple days, so we're gonna be harvesting everything out of the garden, so we'll be showing you guys that as well. To let you guys know that I am working on building my Amazon store and we will hopefully have that up soon on the website because I know you guys like lots of links and I'm trying to get better about that for you guys in the description box. I mean, I'll have things like my wood bowls and glass jars and things like that in there. Today I'll post where I get my glass jars in the description box. I'll also put my outfit. This is from Yvette Sportswear. I love their clothing. Look how cute these pants are in this top. So I'll post that in the description box for you guys as well. They're always getting in new styles, which I love. So I'll make sure and post this outfit in the description box for you guys. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to make that French toast and then we'll begin our day. Okay, so for my vegetables this morning, I'm gonna do some mushrooms, bell pepper, and red onions. So I've just kind of coarsely chopped them. I'm just gonna place them on a parchment lined baking sheet. And the more spread out they are, the faster they cook. And then of course you guys know I love a little garlic salt. And if you're salt free, you can just use some garlic powder or leave it off. So I'm gonna roast this for about 20 minutes at 425. Okay, so for this pumpkin French toast, it's super simple. I will put everything in the description box for you guys. My kids love this. I use this Ezekiel multigrain bread, so it's sprouted, it's super nutritious. All right, so I'm gonna start with one cup of plant milk, and this is just almond milk, but you can use soy milk if you like soy milk or whatever. So to that, I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of maple syrup, a third cup of canned pumpkin puree, about a teaspoon of vanilla, and again, I will put this all in the description box, and some pumpkin pie spice. And I'm just gonna mix that together. Okay, so that's nice and mixed together, and it's okay that the pumpkin pie spice is kinda clumped up, it'll be just fine. So then all I'm gonna do is take this bread and run it through the batter, and then place it on my heated griddle. Okay, and you may have to lightly spray your pan if it likes to stick. But once they're browning on one side, I flip them over and then just let them cook for a few more minutes. All right, so these are ready to go. So then what I have done is taken a banana and cut it into a thick square because we like to smear banana on ours. My kids love it this way. So I'll eat the French toast just like this. I'm not, I don't love maple syrup, but my husband and kids will have a little maple syrup on theirs. You can put a little on yours too if you want. Okay guys, so here is my breakfast, my French toast. I'm so excited about this. It's so, so good. Make sure you guys give it a try. And don't forget the cute little pat of banana butter, as we call it in my house. And then I'm gonna have my bowl of veggies. Now I'm probably gonna eat like three of these bowls because this like cooked down to very little. So I've got more in the oven because I love my veggies at breakfast. All right, so we're gonna finish up breakfast and then we're gonna head out for a morning in the mountains. So we're gonna take a picnic, so I'll show you guys that and I'll show you some of the beautiful scenery. Oh, it's so beautiful out, guys. Look at this, oh my gosh. I just never, ever, ever get tired of all the beauty that we have around us. Oh, it's so pretty, we're down here by the river and look who has a new pack. Look at that, it's a fancy doggy pack, huh? 
So we just love bringing the kids up to these spots by the river. They could play for hours. They bring like their gold panning pans, even though they're never gonna find gold. Who knows, maybe they will. But we'll pack food and just hang out all day. Moon, I'm there soon. I'm leaving quite early tomorrow morning. Undercover, baby, is what you ask of me. some sushi bowls. I cooked some rice this morning before we left and then I added some chopped cilantro and green onions and then there's some cucumber and avocado that we'll put in there and then we'll crumple up seaweed on top and then of course we'll dress it with a little rice vinegar and soy sauce. And then we have apples and carrots and sugar snap peas to snack on as well. Moon, I'm on my way. All right, so we actually have to eat our picnic in the car because the wind is awful. We were just getting mouthfuls of dirt. I think like that snowstorm, the wind is starting to bring it in. So we're gonna eat our food in the car. Also forgot to tell you guys that for snacks, I will get like this whole grain cereal and just put it in baggies for the kids as well. That's really easy. Look at that. That is the only thing we eat out there. So here's my sushi bowl. I'm gonna put seaweed on it in just a minute, but first I'm gonna put a little low sodium soy sauce on it and a little bit of this seasoned rice vinegar. It is so good this way. All right, there's my bowl. It's really good. My cucumbers have dirt on them. That's gonna be yummy. Mm, they're so good, guys. There's babe. Mm. And there's Nacho. Hoping he's gonna get some sort of handout. So we're up in the national park right now. It's like our favorite thing to do, but we might go down into town and tool around there. So I might show you guys some of that. Cutest little bookstore. Look at this. It's so cute. Uh oh. And look at the. Can you see? <laughs> He's so easy. <laughs> to come inside so I could talk to you guys. So we're gonna go out and harvest the garden because we have a snowstorm coming in a few days and the wind is really kicking up, which is why I can't talk to you guys out there. But I'm gonna show you guys. We're just gonna pull everything out of the garden and see how much produce we have. All right, all hands on deck, even nachos in the garden. He mostly just eats stuff. This is my cute basket that my dad gave me. I love it. A good size one, huh? Look at this cabbage. We've got so much cabbage. What are we gonna do with this much cabbage? We need cabbage for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Cabbage soup, cabbage pie. 
Oh, they're huge. <laughs> Look how big they are. <laughs> but, and I don't remember what kind of cabbage this one is. Do you remember? I have no idea. I think it's like a French cabbage or something. <laughs> it's so big. Isn't that huge? Look, look how cute. Those are the Cinderella pumpkins. Oh, they're going to be so cute. Ooh, we got a cluster of tomatoes. Those are San Marzano's. Those are my favorite. And this is what we have so far. We've got butternut squash, beets, spaghetti squash, pumpkins, acorn squash, tons of cabbage. We've got lots of cucumbers. What else do we have? Like zucchinis and all sorts of stuff in there. the tomatoes like a crazy amount of cabbage and produce there's so much that I feel like we're gonna be busy for a couple days I'll probably chop all of the cabbage and get it frozen and then we'll have that to throw in soup I'll do that also with our kale and Swiss chard the squashes will stay good in the pantry for like a month or so so I think we'll get through our spaghetti squash and our butternut squash I got acorn squash but I don't know where it is right now it's in a pile over there and so for the tomatoes, we'll just cook those down and make a bunch of sauce and then I'll freeze those and have those throughout the winter to throw into soups or make tomato soup out of or to use as a marinara. But yeah, it's fun. The kids really, really enjoy watching everything grow. They love planting season and then they love harvesting. I think that's also helped my picky eater be more involved in the process and now she really enjoys eating greens, especially when they're ones that she grew and she's more excited about tomatoes now so so that's been helpful but they really really love being able to put seeds into the earth and then take care of them and watch them grow and then to be able to enjoy all of the fruit of their labor so we didn't end up getting ready for a fall crop because we've been so busy and then with the weather being the way it is i can't believe we're gonna have snow in a couple days we're just not gonna get to a fall crop this year but we are going to extend the garden beds and prep them for the fall so i'll probably show you guys when we do that but yeah so we are tired we've had a full long day so i'm going to show you guys a really easy way to use your leftover potatoes and we're just going to have potatoes and veggies for dinner because it's easy and it's a crowd pleaser all right guys so i'm going to show you how to Use your leftover potatoes or your steamed potatoes for the week and make a really yummy, crispy french fry. So I always have a big container of steamed potatoes. So I'm just gonna cut these into thick steak fries. Okay, now that I have them cut, this is my trick for getting them nice and crispy. I'm gonna put them into this pot that has a lid. Okay, then I'm gonna take some garlic powder and some onion powder, some salt, pepper, and then some smoked paprika. All right, so now I'm gonna put the lid on and then I'm gonna shake this like crazy to roughen up the potatoes. Okay, now your potatoes will be nice and roughed up and they have these pieces on them. So make sure you get all of these little pieces too. They just add to the crunchies and they're so delicious. All right, so now I'm just gonna spread them out on my parchment lined baking sheet. And again, make sure you get all of those little mashed pieces out because they add a lot of flavor and texture. All 
All right, now I'm just gonna roast them on 425 for 20 to 30 minutes or until they're starting to get nice and crispy. Okay guys, look how gorgeous these potatoes are. They're nice and crispy. I'm gonna have them with some steamed broccoli and cheese sauce. Look at this enormous plate of food. I know it's a lot, but I'm really hungry. We worked really hard today. So I love broccoli with cheese sauce. I'll also, here's my hair on my plate. I'll also put cheese sauce on my fries and of course eat them with a bunch of ketchup. These are so good. Look how gorgeous and crispy those came out. They're so good. Mmm. You guys gotta try them. And for dessert, I'm just gonna have this bowl of strawberries and some cocoa nibs. These are the ones that I get and they're unsweetened and it just gives like a yummy little crunch and bite of chocolate. My kids and husband, however, love these chocolate sprinkles on their strawberries, so they're gonna use those. It's a really simple, delicious dessert. It's healthy and it's got a ton of fiber and it's currently my favorite. All right guys, that is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed the simplicity of our meals for the day. Make sure you try that pumpkin French toast. It is so, so good. Remember to keep this journey about health and not just about the skinny. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.